Cardinals hosting the Phillies, and the Phillies are minus 120 on the money line. The Cardinals are plus 102 over under eight and a half runs. The Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. While the Cardinals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one. You win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you so much for everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, please go to the website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. The Discord is a paid membership, but once you join, you'll get email access with a link to the Discord and all the channels. And there are daily best bets for the daily sports and weekly best bets for the weekly sports, and we've been doing pretty good lately. Now, Suarez did not pitch against the Cardinals either last year or this year. They are 2-3 and three in his last five. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 6.2 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of two. The under is hitting his last three starts, and the under is 4-0-1 and one in his last five starts overall. For the Cardinals, McCullough's pitched once against the Phillies this year. Six innings, five runs, five earned. They lost that game 7-2. to two. In Philadelphia, he struck out three. They are two and three in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 2.6 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 4.6. The over-under is 2-2-1 two, two, and one in his last five starts. And he has pitched three times his last three starts between this year and last year. All the games went under. Averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched, 5.3 hits, 2.7 uh, earned runs, 3.7 strikeouts. He walked one batter in three games. He gave up a home run a game in every one of the games, so one home run per game in 89.7 pitches. Head-to-head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Phillies are on a six-game winning streak. The Phillies are 8-2 and two against the Cardinals in their last 10. The favorite is on a five-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-run games in their last 10, including the game they played against each other tonight. The under is 7-3 in their last 10, and the under 8.5 runs is 6-4. The game they played tonight, the Phillies won 5-4. They were winning that game a little bit bigger, and I was contemplating laying the runs with the Phillies later on in the game, and uh, I'm glad I didn't, although I did fat finger one of these games, and I got them in there with the Rockies, and uh, unfortunately for me, the Rockies lost that game in the ninth inning. The Phillies are 4-6 in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and they are 2-2 two and two in their last 4. For the Cardinals, they are 2-2 two and two in their last 4. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and we're going to check out the win just to see what it's looking like. Uh, it's going to be blowing out at 4.7 miles per hour, pretty much towards dead center or right center field. I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I'm taking the Phillies laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. I just have a funny feeling, especially with the 4.6 ERA. There's good chances that there's going to be runs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.